Food prices in Yemen are increasing, and food insecurity is a widespread issue. But why is this happening when Yemen is rich in resources? These resources or products each have a value, and each product goes through several stages before it reaches the Yemeni consumer. These stages are collectively known as the supply chain. Let's think about the journey it takes to enjoy a canned mango or mango juice. Growing high-quality mangoes on a large scale needs investment in inputs such as seeds, fertilizer, and farming tools. Farmers sell their harvested mangoes to wholesalers, who in turn sell them to retailers. Retailers sell mangoes in markets or to companies that use them in their products. This is how consumers get to enjoy mango as a fruit or part of a product. Maintaining a streamlined mango production journey would be impossible without logistics. That includes the transportation, storage, packaging, and freezing of the mangoes so they reach consumers intact and on time. However, any interruptions or delays within the supply chain can result in value being lost. That means increased costs for the farmer or retailer. It also means that product reaches the consumer at a higher price or in a damaged or poor state. Sometimes products don't even make it to the market. Understanding the supply chain is vital to finding solutions that maximize value and increase sustainable access to food. Designing interventions that have a positive impact on food markets and for the end consumer are key. Enhancing supply chains and expanding promising value chains also translate to increased job opportunities, improved incomes, revitalized local food markets, and better quality products at lower costs. For Yemenis to enjoy sustainable food security, the World Bank's International Development Association and UNDP work together with national partner SMEPS to support micro and small businesses that focus on food production and distribution. This is the path to boosting agricultural productivity and building resilient local food systems and markets in Yemen.